Welcome to Rare Wine and welcome to an episode where we're going to talk about a very special wine, the Mutong 45. 1945 was of course a very special year all over Europe because it was the ending of the Second World War. It was a year where everything was difficult for, for most winemakers because most of the winemakers were actually at war and they had problems in, in many ways to, to get the people they needed in the vineyards to, to do the pruning during the season and stuff like that. And even though 1945 turned out to be a, a really good vintage, if you look at the weather, it was also a difficult one because you, you really needed the people to make the wine. But there was an exception and of course there were several exceptions, but in 1945 at Chateau Mouton Rothschild, the Baron Philippe, he had the opportunity to be home at the chateau during the harvest. And that was because he was, uh, he was Jewish and he left the, his prisonership uh, and to come home. And so he managed actually to be at the chateau during the harvest, which of course helped the wine to become better than if he hadn't been there. And the season started, of course, as we can say, even if we, we talk about the, the season today, we always talk about how it starts. And in the beginning, it was very difficult in 1945, because in the beginning of May, on the 4th of May, they had a severe frost in, in Bordeaux, and that killed a lot of, of the early shots on, on the vines. So they ended up with a very low production, actually, in 45. So at Mouton, they ended up with a production that was only 10 hectoliters per hectare, which is extremely low. Normally today, when you talk about the, the Premier Grand Cru from Bordeaux, you talk more in, in the range around 40 hectoliters per hectare. So that's a much bigger production. Also, the, the, the size of the chateau, the size of the vineyards, was actually also smaller back in, in 45. So at that time, they only had a little more than 50 hectares where today more than 80 hectares is part of the Chateau Mouton. So it, it was a smaller vineyard with very low yields, ending up with a, with a beautiful bottle. And the 1945, from very early on, showed to be very, very good. And all the, the first tastings they did was at that time the 45 was only a, at the second level of the Grand Cru Classé classification in Bordeaux. It was not until 1973 that Baron Philippe, he, he managed to, to get Mouton leveled up to, to Premier Grand Cru Classé. So, but at that time, the 45 actually was sold at higher prices than some of the Premier Crus. And many people from an early stage on actually named the Mouton as the wine of the vintage from 1945 in Bordeaux. So luckily here at, at Rare Wine, we sometimes see one of these bottles and there was only around 75,000 bottles made at that time. So of course, with the consumption over the years, there's only a few bottles left. One of the persons that have tasted this wine the most times probably is Michael Broadbent, who used to be the head of Christie's in London. And every time he has tasted this one, he has given it its, its highest praise and it should be an amazing wine. Unfortunately, I, I still not haven't tasted it, but, um, but we'll see if we can find a corkscrew and, and dream a little bit about drinking the bottle. So, um, but that's the short story about the Chateau Mouton 1945, one of the most legendary wines in, in the world. Thank you.